Welcome, my friends. Let's read Psalm 39. To the chief musician, even Jejuthan, a psalm of David, or David, I said I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle, while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace, even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me while I was musing. The fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand breath, and my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Selah. Surely, Every man walketh in vain. Shoe, surely they are disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth because thou didst it. Remove my, remove thy stroke away from, from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. Then thou with Rebukes dost correct man for iniquity. Thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity, Selah. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry, and hold thy peace at my tears. I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, a traveler, as all my fathers were. Spare me, that I may recover strength. Go I hence, and be no more. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry. He brought me up also, out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my doings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear shall, and fear and shall trust in the Lord. I'm trying to get a turn of page here. I may have to pause it. It's not working with me. Okay. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are 
to us were. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak un of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offerings, offering thou didst not desire. Mine ears hast thou opened, and burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required. Then I said, I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is written in my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord. Thou knowest I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thou thy tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me, for innumerable evils have compassed me about. My iniquities have taken hold of me, so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the, the hairs of my head, therefore my heart faileth me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, take, make haste to, to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backwards and put to shame that wish me evil. Wow. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame. That say unto me, Aha! Aha! Let them, let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. Let such as love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Hmm. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tearing my Lord, my God, make no delay. Awesome. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon his bed of languishing. Thou wilt make all his bed in sickness. I say, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. 
Mine enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die? And he and his name perish. And if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself when he goeth abroad to tell it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my heart. An evil disease, say they, cleaveth fast unto him. And now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar friend, in whom I have trusted, which did eat of my own bread, hath lifted up his hill against me. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me, and raise me up that I may requite them. By this I know that thou favorest me, because mine enemy doth not triumph over me. And as for me, thou upholdest me in mine integrity, and settlest me before thy face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. So that is the end of book one. So let's, I'm, I just want to touch on a couple of verses that I saw that were awesome. <laughs> Um, that okay when you read this Psalm 38 we really don't know I didn't really know where this is actually coming from but by reading the rest of these Psalms I kind of have an idea but it's just a theory that he's in sorrow because maybe um, either one of the prophets told him that, that he's going to be on a sick bed for a long time or this is, he was already on the sickbed uh, for a long time. Or it could just be something in between. We don't know for certain. But there was a time in his life, um, in First Kings, that, so I think it started in First Kings, where he was on a bed. And he was sick. Uh, but eventually, he still got the victory over his enemies. Even though he eventually passed away, he still got the victory over his enemies. God would see to it that, that Solomon would be king. No matter what happened, no matter who tried to intervene, God intervened on his behalf. Yes, people came and and spoke to him to make him aware of this situation that that um, Solomon's brother um, was trying to take the throne. And so, once God uh, made him aware of that, he he then had enough strength to to. Uh, Make it right. So God gave him the strength that he needed. Because I believe that he was in kind of a bad situation. He did not have enough strength to do anything. And a lot of people may have been praying for him at that time. Um, so that's why I think the situation is kind of. Uh, situated, but I could totally be wrong here. But I think it kind of follows. Um, of course, if I re keep reading the book Bible over and over and over, I'm thinking I might find more details, and there might be more details in the, you know, more Psalms about this topic. Um, 
So, anyway, that, that's just a theory. <laughs> uh, a Bible theory. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, so let's take a look at one or two verses that kind of... Here we go, verse 3. My heart was hot within me while I was musing. The fire burned. Then spake I with my tongue. So it looks like to me that the Holy Spirit stirred his heart up, stirred his strength up, and he he was before this situation, he was deaf. And I think he couldn't see either. So he was made aware of this. It started with the heart. His heart was stirred up. And God forgave him and stirred up his heart. And gave him a, a new fire. And, and gave him not just a new fire, but a new revelation um, that he never had before. About um, the, the wicked people trying to attack him. And, and other things that are in these three, uh, two or three psalms. Okay, so... Let's look at Psalm 40. Like maybe I'll pick out. Uh, it says like right here, verse 10. I have not hid my thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation and have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great con congregation amongst people and the public he he professed his faith in God so oh verse 12 too for innumerable evils have Surrounded me about. My iniquities have taken hold upon me. So that I. Uh, I am not able to look up. And there are more than the hairs of my head. Before. Um, therefore my, my heart faileth me. But God is his deliverer, and God delivered him from such a terrible punishment um, or situation. It might not just be a punishment. It could be just the situation that he found himself in. Um, so let's look at verse, Psalm um, 41. And... Verse 7, all that hate me whisper together against me uh, to do, uh, do they devise my heart. Unable disease, say they, and all these bad things. And even God revealed to him that even one of his best friends whom he trusted in which he did eat of the bread and lifted up his has lifted up his heel against me. This I think this could be a Ahithophel. Um or it could be of someone that it it mentions in Second Samuel, so it it's yeah. I don't want to go there, but that, that's a cool verse. And there you go. I'm going to leave it like that. Blessed be the Lord of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. You have a great day.